My name is Rebecca Messberger. I am a professor of Italian and director of undergraduate Italian studies. And the first thing I'd like to say is that all of the instructors in the foreign language classroom have been on both sides of the podium. We were students and now we are professors of foreign language. And we come to this work because we fell in love. And I use that expression deliberately with another language and culture. As a 19-year-old, I went with my university for a full year to Italy. And while I no longer wear my black leather mini skirt and my motorcycle boots, I no longer drink gallons of espresso or listen all day to romantic ballads, in many ways, I've never come home. And that's because the foreign language classroom is transformative. Not only do you learn to speak a new language with new vocabulary and syntax and grammar, but you learn a new rhythm and new tones. You learn a different way to eat, to socialize, and fundamentally to think about art and literature and culture, and that includes your own. The foreign language classroom is a place of full engagement, mind and body, in the world. I often feel like I open a door for my students to a really exclusive club after they learn proficiency in Italian. Sabria is a student who, when she graduated a couple of years ago, um, led groups for disaster relief around the country. And this fall, she will begin uh, law school at Columbia University in New York. These classes had a profound impact on my undergraduate experience. I considered my Italian courses the foundation and the peak of my college years. My success studying abroad was highly contingent upon my ability to interact and socialize in Italian environments with my schoolmates, my host family, traveling, etc. These courses were distinguished by the passion I approached them with and also by the ease and comfort that my Italian professors offered me. Nick is about to begin his junior year. He's a math major, and he took two semesters of Italian in conjunction with a freshman focus course on Italian museums. And this is what he has to say. I'd never been to mainland Europe before, and the experience of walking through cities that have existed for hundreds to thousands of years was unbelievable in and of itself. However, the professor's expertise regarding the history of museums, works, artists, patrons, added a whole new dimension to the trip. My first-hand experiences gave me a much more complete impression of how art and museums affect and reflect culture, especially in such history-steep cities as Venice, Bologna, Florence, and Rome. He says, I could never have gotten that from reading articles alone. The trip was one of my favorite experiences my freshman year, not only for the opportunity to learn, but for the opportunity to have fun with my classmates. Freshmen would be crazy not to take a course like this. In every language classroom at Washington University, we try to spark that love affair from the very first day of 101 by creating the liveliest, most interactive, and culturally authentic experience possible. In the Italian classroom, only Italian is ever spoken, and that's true for Spanish and French and German, etc. We want you to develop a proficiency so that you can study abroad and go to that villa built in 1506 in Castel Raimondo, eat black truffles, and learn about the Renaissance artist Lorenzo Lotto who lived there. How great is that?